What's up guys? Today I wanted to quickly show you what's in this Trunnion upgrade kit. I got it from PRW is the company. I hope they're fairly reputable. I don't know, I guess we'll see. But what comes in the kit are um, the new bearings, the new, I don't know what you call that, fulcrum or something. Uh, the new studs for installing the rocker arms and then these two washers and I'll show you what those are for. So the rocker arms obviously they don't come with the kit. I pulled those out of the junkyard. If you're interested in seeing that video I'll put a link to it in the top. So just quickly before I show you how to install these I just want to let you know kind of my feelings of the product. They look to be fairly good quality but I was disappointed when I ordered them because they didn't come with any instructions. And even when I called the company and asked them for some installation instructions, they just said they didn't have any, but they said it is the same as any other uh, Trinian upgrade kit. So I watched some other videos of like the comp cams version. The installation is pretty straightforward, but the one thing that I've seen on other videos people say is that it's critical when you're installing these bearings that the writing on the bearings is on the outside otherwise you could have a catastrophic failure i really hope that is the same for this kit but like i say i was a little disappointed in the company they didn't say anything about that and there was no installation instructions included other than that i think the quality looks pretty good they told me that it was a new product and that's why they didn't have any installation instructions. Uh, so hopefully they'll fix that. One of the reasons I chose these over the comp cams is these were about $50 less. So it is a significant difference in price. Other than that, let's uh, get to installing them. Okay, so these actually come apart pretty easy. What we're gonna do is put this smaller punch on the inside of this. And we're just going to set it on this big socket. This is a 22 millimeter. We're just going to set it on there. Put that on the inside and just start hitting it. And it pops it out. And see that whole side comes out with the middle part. I just dump those out. Then you flip it over. And I've just been using this as a half inch um, driver extension just because it's got to be big enough to press up against the outside of that so the smaller one won't work. Pops right out and that gets the old one out. It's pretty simple. All right, so I've done a few of these. I'll see if I can show you what I've been doing. So on these bearings, there's a little number stamped. You're going to want to make sure those are on the outside and I've just been putting the first one in. I don't know if it really matters which side. I'm just kind of holding it there, trying to get it as straight as possible. And, and I just put it in the vise here and press it in like that. Once you get that first bearing in, then you take this piece and I've just been leaving these foam pieces in there until I put that in just so I don't lose any of the little needle bearings in there. And then you grab the other bearing and once again just make sure the letters or numbers or whatever is on the outside. And this is where it gets a little bit trickier. You have to use these washers to create um, a space for that and I've just been doing one at first just to get it started um, but you're not going to be able to go in all the way so after you do that then you're going to have to do it with two Washers, one on each side. And this is where it gets tricky. This is where it would be nice to have kind of more of a vertical press. because, 
And you can move around this middle piece a little bit to make sure it's centered. So there we go, I got it centered. You can see that moving back and forth. And then you just finish pressing it in. And you don't want to press them in too much. You just want to make sure they're level. So there you go. I might need to press this one in just a hair more and just make sure they spin freely. I've had a couple that have been in there just slightly sideways or something and they they kind of catch when you're trying to move them and so I've just put it back in and uh, pressed it just a little bit more and get them straightened up and then they work. All right so after you get the bearings pressed in you're going to take these clips and just put them on each side just make sure they're These are some fantastic Harbor Freight uh, snap ring pliers. Like $3, but they do the job, I guess. Alright, so yeah, just make sure those are in. They have little grooves in there, so make sure they're in. And that's it, you're good to go. Just remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting my logo below. And then, like always, just like and share the video. Thanks.